All right, what's up guys? Today we have a completely insane, unbelievable car and I guarantee that you've never seen this on the road before because it doesn't exist. There's only nine prototypes out there. This is one of them. This is the brand new Di Tommaso P72 and that only 72 will ever be made. It's an absolutely insane looking car, especially when you see it from the inside. Just wait, I wanna show you guys the inside in just a second. All right, so let's go step by step with what makes this car so special. Let's start off with the front. First of all, it looks completely unique. Like you do not see any other shape like this on the road. This thing looks completely like just, I don't know, like a spaceship or something, right? So in the middle of the front, you have this rose gold cap, right? And a lot of you guys will think, well, you know, that's probably where you put the gas, but it's not. That is actually the cap for the washer fluid. It's probably the most dramatic washer fluid cap I've ever seen in my life, but it pays tribute to the original 1964 P70 from back in the day. So they wanted to keep the cap in there, but they ended up just having to, I don't know, replace it with a washer fluid tank. In the front, you have the Di Tommaso badge and you can see the Argentinian flag because Di Tommaso was from Argentina. Uh, he then went to Italy to actually found uh, Di Tommaso later. So the entire car, literally everything from the subframe, the monocoque, everything on this car is completely carbon fiber. This is actually the world's strongest car. It has 72,600 Newton meters of torsional rigidity. What? Basically what that means is that when you think of cars on a track, you have all of this force twisting and turning the car itself, but you need to be able to measure the stiffness of the car, right? So this is the world's strongest car. A Bugatti has about 50,000 Newton meters of torsional rigidity. This has about a 48% increase from that. So when you put this thing on the road, it'll be able to withstand all kinds of forces, no problem. So going back to the front, you'll actually see that below the flag, you have these three DTs also for Di Tommaso, and you're gonna see these everywhere. But even cooler than this is I want to show you guys because this is a very romantic car right I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second if you get up close you'll see these headlights have like these kind of beautiful eyelashes like like that of a woman and it's covered in this rose gold this is actually rose gold plated everything that you see in this car that looks rose gold is rose gold or rose gold plated this is rose gold that's rose gold we're going to go to the inside it's completely decked out in rose gold um, also the side of the car when I was saying that it was romantic you see that everything on the side, it looks kind of like a dress, like draping down. So when you think of a woman's dress at the very bottom when it kind of folds, look at that shape. You see the reflections? These right here, center locking wheels. This is completely copper. And in person, the way it shines looks incredible. Also the side view mirrors, copper, being held by this elongated handle. And you'll see the cockpit. It just looks like it's, it's a thing of its own, right? So it starts off here, you have these kind of fans right there but you see how it looks like it's almost inserted into the front and then everything is covered in glass so even the roof itself is like a glass panel with the production model you're actually going to have a little cut out here at the bottom to obviously ventilate because right now there's no way to lower the windows down so it gets pretty hot and over here you'll see prova prova it means test or prototype in italian because this is only one of nine prototypes in the world mo stands for modena in italy and p72 for the actual model itself okay so the rear rims are bigger than the front this is a staggered car these are 21 inches in the back 20 inches in the front but the back of the car itself looks <laughs> it looks crazy man look at the back of this thing like what you see these circular taillights it looks like a retro spaceship you know like something you'd see in roswell in area 51 back in the day Back here, you have the huge vents. It's like completely hollow. When you look through this thing, you can see the engine goes in pretty deep. And look at the size of this exhaust pipe. It looks like a Viking horn, you know? And trust me, once you turn this thing on, it is pretty loud. Underneath the glass panel is where you see the five liter supercharged V8. This thing produces 750 horsepower. And you can already see that it's all carbon fiber, the casing. All right, so let's open up the back. You ready? All right, there it is. Take a look. It looks like we literally split the car in half. There it is, look at all the carbon fiber details. What's also interesting is that everything is gold plated. That's for heat dispersion, right? And you know, I'm not an engineer, but I was thinking like, you know, gold, I always thought that gold had a bit of a softer melting point. Like I always thought that it was easy to melt gold, but apparently it's not. Uh, there's other metals that would be even stronger, but of course, you know, gold looks cool. People want to get some gold in the engine. So we're going to close this back up. I think it's time to show you guys the inside of this car. Buttons down here, you have a secret button right there. That, that electronically unlocks it. It's a dramatic open. Oh yeah. Beautiful. 
Wow. All right, take a look. Take a look at that interior. First of all, the interior looks very glamorous, very fancy. So all of this leather is fine Italian leather with the quilting, you know, and all of this is rose gold. Everything that you see right there is rose gold. Look at this steering wheel. This might be the fanciest, coolest steering wheel I've ever seen. And I'm not even just saying that. I mean, look at this thing. You have carbon fiber, wrapped leather, rose gold, piano black glass. I feel like this steering wheel belongs in like a museum, you know? It looks freaking sick, man. I mean, when have you ever seen rose gold pedal shifters? I love the texture on the gauges. It's like a, I don't know, quilted, futuristic space look. All right, so what's pretty cool is that this gear selector right here will be adjusted to the size of your hand, depending on the buyer. So if you got a small little hand, they'll make this, they'll make this pretty small. That ball will be much smaller. But if like, I don't know, if you're like Shaquille O'Neal or something, I mean, they're gonna have to like make like a basketball gear selector. So this was made for the CEO of this company, Norman. So it was fitted to his hand right there. There it is. There it is. So it's a very personalized, comfortable experience. I think that's pretty cool to be honest, but this car is highly bespoke. Also look at the coil and the springs going on down here. It's a very mechanical car. So the inside of this car actually pays tribute to the American cars of the 1950s. But again, it's so strange seeing how futuristic this car looks, yet so retro. It's really, really like a, I never thought I'd say, but it's a, it's a, it's a futuristic retro car. So this prototype has a sequential gearbox, but when you actually buy this car, it's gonna have a six speed manual. Also, when you look closely, you'll see all the adjustments you can make. So this is just the on off. This is the engine on off. This is your drive mode. So you have W for wet, R for race, S for sport and M for manual. Also, these are probably the coolest windshield wiper toggles I've ever seen in my life. Look at that, it just feels like, it just feels like luxury, man. These right here are your headlights and your other lights. That's pretty cool. Also, you might be wondering what are these little things? These are just emergency door openers. In case everything else fails, you can open them through here. You actually have another leather strap right there. This is to adjust your pedals. So if you want to bring them closer or further apart. All right, so we're going to turn it on and go for a little bit of a drive. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Wow. Man, that sounds freaking crazy. You have the engine right behind your head and it's so loud. Wow, that sounds insane. <laughs> Good. You can just see everything. Yeah. That's the DiSamaso P72. What do you guys think? Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.